everybody, I'm Darian, coach at Copilot, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to do a goblet squat. A goblet squat is a great move for anybody. You're primarily gonna be working your quads in this exercise, but you're also gonna get hamstrings, glutes, calves, you're gonna be able to work your hip mobility and ankle mobility. It is a great all-around move, especially for strengthening the core as well. First thing you're gonna need to know to do a goblet squat is how to do a squat. So you want your feet right underneath your shoulders with your toes pointed straight ahead or just slightly turned out. You're going to first hinge from the hip as you slightly bend the knee and then drop the hips straight down. We're dropping the hips below the top of the knee, but if that's not accessible for you, just go as low as you can while maintaining proper form. So let's grab our kettlebell. You're gonna hold it by the horns with elbows tucked in. Kettlebell is gonna be right underneath the chin. So the closer you hold this kettlebell to you, the easier this movement is going to be to maintain proper form. So I'm gonna squat down, elbows tucked in, the elbows will go between the knees, and then I'm imagining my kettlebell is pulling me up. So now that we have our weight in our hands, it's even more important that you're leading up with the chest and not letting your hips come up first because that's gonna put pressure on the lower back and we wanna make sure that you're using your legs and your core to achieve this movement. So primarily you're gonna be feeling this move in the quads. So you're gonna really feel those quads burning, but you're also additionally gonna feel your glutes and your hamstrings working. I'm thinking about pressing into my heels, pushing the floor away to stand up really tall at the top. And I'm really feeling my core engage to make sure my chest is tall and this weight is staying close to my body. Okay, so if you don't have a kettlebell accessible to you, that's totally fine, not everyone has a kettlebell. If you have a dumbbell, you can do this move with a dumbbell as well. You're gonna tuck your palms underneath the top of your dumbbell, holding that dumbbell again close to the body underneath the chin, same thing here. Elbows are pointing down between the knees, my heels are down, my chest is leading me up out of the movement. You can also do a goblet squat with a medicine ball. So we're gonna hold the medicine ball on either side, fingers pointing up, elbows down, medicine ball is gonna be right in line with the chin, same thing here. If you only have a resistance band at home, that's awesome. You can still do a goblet squat with a resistance band. So you're gonna go ahead and step on that band Get your feet into shoulder distance. Bring the handles together, palms up, fingers clasped. Same thing. Hands are gonna be right underneath the chin, elbows pointing down. Okay, if you are a person who's brand new to squats, or if you tend to have some knee trouble or some lower back trouble, you can do this movement to a chair. So this will just give you a support to squat down to. So all the form is the same. We're holding that kettlebell in close, elbows underneath us, and then we're reaching back to that chair, pushing up through the heels to stand tall. Chest is going to be up, and we're imagining that kettlebell is leading us out of this movement. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed that video. We have a bunch more videos on our channel.